We are at TK Test Tower, tallest test tower in the States, using a construction method called slip forming. We were uh, able to bring it from its foundation to its final elevation in 56 days, which was about four days ahead of what we had planned. The footprint of the foundation was about 90 feet by 70 feet, 37 feet deep. <laughs> A pretty big pile of rock. The slip form, it works by, you work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, three crews. Each crew worked a 12 hour shift and then they would have 24 hours off. And you are always casting concrete in order to uh, bring the form up as you're sliding, you can come up however many feet a day your placing rate and your embed and reinforcement install can support. All of the concrete here is a total self-perform package. We form, reinforce, and place the work, and so far we've been successful. So out at TK, um, because it was a concrete kind of self-performed job, we did something called lift drawings. And basically what it entails is creating a structural model that is true to the contract drawings. And we add more information to it as relevant to the forming and the pouring and setting of the concrete. So we'll add embed information, pours and sequencing, as well as dowel information or anything else that would be really useful while forming and getting ready to prepare the concrete hope that as we explore new technologies, we would look into doing more large elevator cores in high rises with this type of a system because if you combined it then with tables, you could really have some, some very fast floor cycles.